Uh, talk about your offseason real quick. Uh, right when the season was over, took a little bit of time off. Then I went over to Indianapolis for a few weeks and uh, worked with some good players. I uh, tried to work on my ball handling and got a chance to go to some Pacers games when I was there, too, so that was cool. And then I got invited to go to the Mari Stoudemire camp in Chicago. Went there for a weekend and played well, and then was uh, good enough to get invited to the LeBron camp out in Vegas. You know, there were some really good players out there. Got a chance to see the, all the NBA guys, so that was that was a lot of fun for me. And then when I got back from that, I kind of took some time off and uh, just been starting to get more into the flow of things uh, the last month or so. So I feel great. Who would you? Say, I mean, you, you obviously had a, a pretty exciting and pretty interesting offseason. Who would you say was that that one person or that one thing that you were like, wow, this is this is really cool? Uh, I mean, taking a picture with LeBron. And, uh, I mean, I was around all of them. We got a chance to go to the USA practice when they were in Vegas. We got to watch it. So seeing Blake Griffin dunk and up close, watching Kobe shoot, uh, it's, it's awesome. Um, do you like having this target on your back? I mean, obviously you had it last year, um, but the, the hype machine has obviously gone off the yeah. chain this year. But uh, It's fun. I mean, it's, it's what makes it fun. I mean, I mean, anyone would want to be in that kind of situation. So, I mean, you just got to make the most of it. And, uh, Try not to let it bother me and try not to let it affect my game. Just bring a, bring a uh, positive mindset every single day to practice, try to make my team better, and everything tends to take care of itself. You guys seem to have a real good kind of you know family atmosphere here on yeah. the team, no pun intended. Um, how, how is it with the teammates? Is it? It's great. Uh, I mean, our, our chemistry has been good ever since I've gotten here. Uh, I think guys uh, I mean, really get along with each other. We got guys from the same states, we got guys from different countries. I mean, and everyone fits in. I mean, there's not a bad dude on our team. And that's something we take pride in. I think uh, it's what a lot of teams don't have out there, so it makes it special. We all know the expectations of the team. We all know the individual expectations and things like that. Um, who's the one opponent that you're really looking forward to playing this year, either non-conference or conference? Uh, I'm looking forward to playing Wichita again. I mean, uh, they got the most of us last year. I mean, at home. Playing against them is always fun because it's kind of a rivalry for us. It's a grown rivalry. I mean, it's, it's a fun game, and I think they got a good team coming back. And I mean, I look forward to all those games, though. I mean, playing against Northern Iowa and Illinois State will be fun. Playing North Texas in your first game, obviously, you have some experience with one of their standout players, you know, yeah. projected lottery pick. Can you tell us a little bit about his, his game and your relationship with him? Uh, I mean, we talk every once in a while. Uh, he was one of my good friends when we traveled overseas. Just a really good really good guy. Uh, he's, he's a really good player, too. I think he'll be potential first round pick, uh, no question. Uh, he can jump out of the gym. And I think uh, I think it'll be a good matchup. I think uh, they're, they, got some, they got a couple really good guards, too. So it'll be a good test for us early, and uh, it'll be fun. Cool. That's all.